What do you need to make swarming control using Apple Box Auditor? The first you must clearly see the signals of the bees sounds in monitoring mode. If not, use rotary control to make them bigger on the screen. Remember that gain control is not automatic. You should correct it by yourself. Then, start general state control mode. The more long measurements you will make, the more averaged result you will get. The best intervals 5 times for 15 seconds or 5 times for 30 seconds. Short measurements will give you more local results, but in this situation it will be not bad too. This result of measurements shows possibility of swarming, except the diagram you can read prediction in the text window of the device. Now you should use swarming control mode of the device, in order to find out the force of swarming impulse. It is necessary to say, that you can start measurements with this mode, but don't forget to make correct gain of your mic. Here, swarming control mode shows highest possibility of swarming. Both arrows are in the red zone. The family is starting swarming process. You have one or two weeks or close to this, to prevent loss of the bees. The only thing you can make now is to carry out personal inspection of the family, in order to find queen cells and to determine their age. This will allow you to understand, how much time do you have, until the swarm will go to its new home. Here, visual control show us, that the bees only build future queen cells, there is no eggs there. So, you have close to two weeks to prevent swarming and the loss of the bees.